Hey, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. Hi, Mimi. Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to do something really fun with a group of people um, from Facebook, a group that I'm in, Little Pouring Art Family. Um, the May collaboration, they do collaborations, um, I think, every month. Um, I'm new to it, so I'm not 100%, but I think they do um, collaborations for people who want to do them. Um, so this one, we're going to do a ring pour, and it has to be on a square canvas. <clears throat> we have to use aqua, dark purple, orange, copper, and black or white. Um, I'm going to use black, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. And my colors, I'm going to do something kind of fun. I thought it would be cool. I'm using, for my dark purple, I'm using Soho's Dioxazine Violet. I'm using Artist Loft's Aqua Green. And I'm using, um, I believe it's Master's Touch. Got something in there. For the um, copper. <clears throat> and then for something just a little pop of funness, I'm going to use Artist Loft's Neon Orange. I think it's going to be kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe that color be, between that color and the neon or the the aqua green. Maybe I might get some little colors that look like they're glowing a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so I have a twenty by twenty inch artist loft canvas. So if you take twenty times twenty equals four hundred. You divide that by twenty eight. It gives me 14.28 ish. So I need about 15 ounces. I think this is an 18 ounce cup. So I'm gonna use that. <clears throat> and so we have to do a ring pour. So I'm going to put a little bit of orange at the bottom. And then I'll do some green. A little bit of copper, a little bit, and I did a lot, <laughs> and some purple. Oh no, I don't know why I don't ever like come prepared with a paper towel. It'll be okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do some orange. No matter how I try not to spill drip on the canvas, I always do. <laughs> Green, some copper, and some purple. I hope this turns out as cool in my mind that I think it's gonna, but. <laughs> These are some different colors that um, I don't I don't use copper very often, and um, obviously like the orange. I don't use a lot either. I've used it on a couple of paintings, which and I loved it, but. I'm just going to go ahead and fill my cup all the way up. That way I have enough paint for sure and I don't have to tilt it. What is in this copper? And I totally have been forgetting to put my black in, so... I'm going to put a little bit of black on the top here. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna, I'll use the black as my flow extender as well. But I got a little bit of black in there. I'm sorry about that. I totally spaced it off and I had it right there too. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I wonder if that copper is just something huh. I don't know I don't like what it did. Well, my ring is really out of whack here. <laughs> but it's kind of cool because it's all...
is terrible. I'm trying to think here what I want to do. I really like it. I think it's kind of funky. And I and I like it different. I don't I'm I love ring pours. I don't do them very often as much. I do them sometimes, I should say. Not not a ton ton ton, but <clears throat> I do like the copper in here. That's actually really pretty. Just wish I knew what those white things were. kind of cool with it being the way that it is all different let's torch it here and see Oops. that dioxazine purple is so pretty and I love this orange here in the middle There's gotta be something wrong with that copper. Because I never seen, you know, when I was seeing those little pieces when I was pouring it into the big cup, but I didn't notice it on anything else. And I don't know if you can see, but maybe you can tell me what you think it might be. And I strained my flow trial, so, but. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a white piece. Right there. I wonder what that is. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm going to fix my edges here. <laughs> it says spilled a whole bunch out. <laughs> Wanna make sure you get all your edges good. And your corners. Perfect. All right, I will think that I'm done with it. Um, just move the table. I like it, it's funky. Knocked my ring light on the floor. But just look at how pretty that is. I love how defined my lines are. My lines are good. I like it. I wish you could see that shimmer. Yeah. Oh, look who's here visiting. My little helper. <laughs> She's like, Mom, get me off that camera. I think it's kind of cool. 
And let's look at that shimmer. And I love how that orange is glowing in the middle. But y'all have to tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed my video. And like and subscribe and all that jazz. Share. That helps my channel out tremendously. <clears throat> Hopefully everybody's being healthy and safe from COVID and just healthy in general. And yeah. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And check out everybody else's. Um, I'll put all their information in the description below for the collaboration. Um, it's a fun bunch of people. And I'm sure it's going to be cool because we're all doing like the same color-ish. And everybody has to do a ring pour, which obviously is going to be cool because nobody's going to have the same thing, which that's what I love. Oh my God, I wish you could see that shimmer. So pretty. But thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Keep getting creative.